So guys, we're going to check out two horrifying incidents that happened recently in Nigeria. One from a suspected Yahoo boy ritualist and the other one from a jealous, wicked lover girl. So one of the incidents, the suspected Yahoo boy ritualist matter happened in River State. His girlfriend came to visit him in River State. But unfortunately for the girlfriend, she doesn't know not just only her boyfriend being a yaw boy, he's also a ritualist. So I do not understand the agenda. Meanwhile, the other incident I'm going to be looking into is about a woman. A woman, her boyfriend caught her cheating with another man. Instead of this woman to apologize, she ended up ending the life of our boyfriend. Can't uh, show the videos here because of uh, the rules and regulation, but according to the news that said the man identified as Collins was arrested for killing his girlfriend identified as Justina along Road 50 NTV Road, Port Harcourt River State. It was gathered that Collins was caught by East Estate Security personnel when he was trying to dispose her corpse after slaughtering her and removing her eyes another vital part of her body for ritual. Following the alarm raised by the security personnel, eyewitnesses turned the suspected the suspect apartment and found Justina slaughtered all over the place, her body parts scattered everywhere, dripping with blood. It was weeks away to the police station while the diseased body parts were taken into the mortuary. It is reported that Justina was a 300 level university student of Port Harcourt before her premature dismissed. It's quite unfortunate, guys, but yet again, yet again, all those ladies are also to be blamed. I don't want to pass blame to Justina because she is the, she is the victim, may also continue to rest in paradise. But yet again, if we should analyze the whole scenario, analyze the whole scenario concerning your just, uh, or Justina uh, passing away, then you will discover if there is a television now that will show you how Justina met Collins. If there should be a television now to show us the life between Justina and Collins, how they met, how uh, Justina was being approached by numerous guys before meeting Collis, then you will discover that there was someone somewhere, so there, a very genuine person. The person might have money as well, or doesn't just have money, but he's trying. Just maybe there was someone there. That was coming for trying to get or Justina to be his girlfriend. And Collis was there spending big, living in a very nice uh, estate, spending well, a big boy with good car, dressed nicely with the beers and everything. She was carried away. If there was a television to show us that, then you would discover that Justice, Justina, sorry, was complicit when trying to pick, when trying to pick a guy to be in a relationship with. Collins already knew from the start that Justina was gullible and easy prey and she fell for it. Most women fall for people like Collis. Most women failed 
to see the genuity between the guys that are coming after them. The only genuine thing they ever see, most women, not all women, most women, is the flashy lifestyle, the money and everything. And even if those women who are seeking to go into relationships seek advices from their friends, their friends will always tell them, ah, won't you go for a man who can pay your bills? You know you are in school, you need your bills to be paid. You need your hair to be well taken care of. You need your skin to be taken care of by a man. That is the mentality. And I think it's about time we start teaching our own kids. If you have a daughter, from now, start teaching that daughter not to have that mentality of a man taking care of her. So that she won't pick the wrong choice. It's, it's, not, it's, good not to, it's good not to raise a feminist to be sure you are not turning your daughter into a feminist. But there is a way to balance it. Teach her on how to respect the opposite sex and also her sex. And teach her on how to pick good choices for herself. It's very, very important so that our daughters do not end up like, like Justina. They yeah, also continue to rest in paradise. But I wish there was a tally, a television to show us the life of a Justina, for Justina while she was with Collins. So many red marks, red, uh, red flags around her, but she ignored it because of the money. And there is this thing about Yahoo boys. What is the agenda this ritualism are trying to put into Yahoo boys? Yahoo boys before are known for just internet scams. But this is the crazy thing about uh, criminality. For example, if a, before a, a child grow up to become an armed robber, carry guns, or become a kidnapper, he started somewhere. He was stealing. They were overlooking it. Then went to school stealing people's stuff. They were overlooking it. Joined courtesy. And then became an armed robber. The same thing with the old boy. They said, do not blast the old boy. So, no, no, no. The old boy is has nothing to do with ritualism. It starts from there. When the money becomes too smaller, when you are very hungry that this client is not paying, you are not hypnotizing the client enough, then someone will whisper to your ear that, ah, there is this Baba or somewhere that can help you to hypnotize any client, anybody you want to collect money from. This Baba will help you. He will give you jazz. If you just talk to a person like this, the person will pay money. Then you will meet the Baba. Baba will say, oh, you have to bring human sacrifice. It starts from there, from Yahoo to Yahoo Plus to ritualism. Yahoo Plus, maybe you might see the Baba, the Baba will say, go and kill goat. Go and kill, uh, go and uh, bring a hen, a fowl for sacrifice, or a cow for sacrifice. That is Yahoo Plus already. Then ritual, Yahoo ritualism is when they ask for human sacrifices. So you see, it's just graduation, graduate going step by step up. So it's the same thing. So let's uh, move past that. Let's talk about this woman. Well, it's a wicked word. This woman is from Delta State. Honestly, I'm on a road from Delta Girls. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to uh, insult any Delta Girl or talk down any Delta Girl, but the Delta Girl that I dated, I regretted dating that Delta Girl. I don't go ever date any data again. Ah, but data girls are good though. There are some really, really good data girls. But the one that I met, oh god damn it. So this woman killed her lover just because he confronted her after he caught her cheating with another man. Mother, talk to me. Get to you. 
Was it a self-defense or what? <laughs> Someone confronted you of uh, having a relationship with another man and then you came to that man's house to come and buy him there. <laughs> when I met a Delta woman, I ran for my life. I'm not joking about it all. I ran. I knew what I faced. But not all Delta women know. I cannot castigate millions of Delta fine women who know how to treat a man right because of one or two women. No, no, no. Delta girls are really, really good. There are some real Delta girls that are really, really nice and good. Majority of Delta women, about 90, 98% of Delta women are good. They can stay with you, hustle with you, and respect you. So good for them. 